All right, so I'm working on that one, that one, and that one. Basically, all I'm doing today is just maintenance this. So this is what's going on. Uh, this place, they take care of their own filters, so they just replace them. So we don't have to worry about the filters. Um, also the bells, they replace their own bells. So basically all we're doing today is checking electrical, checking pressures, temperatures, uh, washing coils, and that's basically it. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably be here about maybe five hours or so. Um, it should be pretty chill. They don't look that bad. And then after this, I have another maintenance I gotta go do. So I don't know if I'll be able to record that one though. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started and uh, try to make a video out of it. That is circuit number two. Look at all this water. So we got a pretty clogged up drain line. There you go. looking so now I gotta figure out why that uh, compressor number two is icing up uh, the evap is not iced up yeah evaporator is not iced up so Something, something's going on. The engineer did mention that this building, the ACs are burning 24 seven most of the time. I guess because they can't keep up with the whole building. So I'm gonna go ahead and just de-ice it. Uh, do the whole maintenance and then check the pressures on it and see how, see how they're looking. But yeah, I mean evaporator, it's not iced up at all. So power is off, just in case.
the green wire is not hooked up. So the way they have it is R to G. They have it jumpered. I'm gonna have to check that out. Down, 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 down. So let's just check for any anything that looks out of the ordinary. Nothing looks burned. Contacts look all good. They're looking all shiny. Fuses don't look overheated. Looking good. The board doesn't look damaged at all. So what I like to do, anytime I do big maintenances, uh, what works best for me is for me to go around and check all of them, give them like a quick check. So basically check, you know, coils, filters, belts, things like that. Uh, and then after that, wash the condensers. And after I wash the condensers on all of them, then go through every single one of them and check pressures, temperature splits, and things like that. I find out that it's kind of, it works better for me like that. But on all of them, they don't look that bad. But I'm still gonna go ahead and wash them down. So, turn that one back on. So now let's go ahead and check this one, see what we find. So on this one, they have the green hooked up to the G. They don't have the jumper from R to G. So I'm gonna go ahead and find out why that one has it like that and not this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check that one if it has the same thing. So. Let's go ahead, turn it off. Let's just verify real quick. Rubbing. That looks fine. I don't see no broken areas. So now that I went through all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the supply store, get what I need. I'll probably get two jugs of coal cleaner, uh, filters and belts, none because they already changed them. And yeah, that's it. So the only issue that I have right now is just that compressor that I stuff. So other than that, it should be pretty simple maintenance. Uh, 
All right, this one's on, that one's on, and that one's back on, so. It is the type of jobs that I enjoy, guys, when you're out here by yourself, nobody's bugging you, it's a big account, so it's not like little, little tiny units. I don't know, I find it more fun. This is when sometimes I wish I worked for a company that just did it, big commercial HVAC. When you just, you know, doing your thing up here in the roof. So, let's go to the... And I asked them how come they didn't have any more, and I guess because they don't sell as much. Uh, I'm thinking because a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people just use the, the new gallon. Uh, but yeah, got the last four, got the last jug. So, we're good. So, I got the last of the Viper cleaner at the supply store. I legit had to drive off about 20 more minutes out of my area just to be able to get these. Unfortunately, around here and in the Bay Area, they don't, they don't, Viper is not as popular. So, a lot of supply stores don't carry them. Uh, but I kind of feel like I had to go get it because it's aluminum foil. So. And plus, I mean, I'm really starting to like this one because it doesn't burn your damn hands. Uh, so, let's go ahead and wash them and get this thing done. We're going to start hooking up the gauges uh 51 degrees coming out so so now what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead and check the temperatures and pressures of all the units and then we should be out of here uh what else also i gotta put that water hose back where it belongs so. Kobe. Kobe. Alright, let's try. Kobe. Alright guys, 
so we're all set we're all done so hopefully you guys enjoy the video guys peace